Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. Welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. Did you ever wonder about all those cows you see as you're riding down the road? Well, today we're going to ask a farmer about the business of beef. Speaking of beef, Stacy Little of SouthernBite.com is going to reveal what makes his secret ingredient meatloaf so special. These days, engineers aren't the only ones designing robots. Kids are too and they're learning important life lessons in the process, as we'll see in a visit to a robotics competition. As y'all know, here at Simply Southern, we're all about telling the good stories of the South. And there are certain scents that automatically make your mind drift to Southern Springs spent sitting on front porches, like peach blossoms, honeysuckle. And one of my favorites, sweet tea. There's one Alabama-based company that sees tremendous success through Southern scented candles, and it's appropriately named the South Candle. These candles get their start in Boaz, Alabama. So that's also where we start today's show. As a longtime retailer, Anna Groom knows the business of boutiques. And four years ago, she struck even greater success when she created the South Candle as an extension of her South boutiques. There's thousands and thousands of candle companies across the U.S. and we knew that we had to make it different and that's our packaging and it's just a gift that's ready to go. The South Candle's trademark is a cotton bowl topper, but you can also find certain scents with more exotic embellishments like a peacock feather or oyster shell. And the scents are sensational too. We called one of our candles, which is one of our best sellers, till this day, Sunday brunch or sweet tea. What do you think about the South? You're sitting on your grandmother's front porch drinking sweet tea, and that's just something that I wanted everybody just to remember when they see our candle. The company's commitment to the region goes beyond the scents, with around 50 employees at the boutiques and the candle company. We're proud to say that we are made in Alabama. I've had multiple people reach out to me and say, let us help you take this overseas and really become a giant. And I've continued just to say, this is who we are, where we're from, and we believe in Handmade in the USA. It takes many hands to make light work of creating each South candle. It starts with wicking or attaching the wick to the glass. A soy-based wax is melted overnight and then it's time to add the special scent mixture and pour. And then after that, we go through a cleaning process. And then once it gets cleaned, we actually have several people that are gonna be making the product, um, the end result, make it look as beautiful as it um, looks on the counter because it doesn't start that way. You can find the South Candle at more than 2,500 retail locations across the U.S., including a little gift shop in historic downtown Prattville that's dedicated to everything Alabama. Just as surely as I say, Sunday brunch seems to be my overall best seller. I'll have a bunch of people come in and say, oh, gunpowder, 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 and all of those will sell out. You can't go wrong with any one of the fragrances. While everything Alabama prides itself as a purveyor of only Alabama-made goods, the South Candle's distinctive design makes it a must-sniff kind of product. 
I have a lot of uh, tourists and visitors from other parts of the country. Some of them have never seen cotton, and so they're looking for a distinctly southern and specifically Alabama gift, and South Candle provides that for them. And for Anna Groom, that's the sweet smell of success. When I look back, we started out with one candle, and that was all it was supposed to be. And then it turned into, I believe we have over 40 or 50 cents at this point. It's a really cool thing to know that it's something we created and that people want it and they love it and they come searching for it all over the state of Alabama. Anna and the South Candle are no strangers to the spotlight. They've been featured in Garden and Gun magazine and even on Good Morning America. With such a wide reach, they created additional candles labeled for North, East, and West. But according to Anna, the South labeled candle is always the most popular, even at gift stores and boutiques outside the region, like over in California. I think it just goes to show there's something that people everywhere really love about the South. Coming up, the pandemic was no match for a competition based on innovation. Instead of canceling youth robotics events, organizers just found another way to host them. Alabama's deer hunting season is October through February. During this time of year, there's an increase in auto claims due to deer collisions. Drive extra carefully, especially at night. If you do hit a deer, move your vehicle to a safe place, report the collision to the police, and inspect your car. Comprehensive Auto Insurance provides coverage needed for unpredicted damages such as deer collisions. Visit alphainsurance.com for more information. These Alpha Insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Redland Farms grew to Redland Cotton with the help of Alabama Farm Credit. After World War II, my grandpa bought land to start a farm, which was passed down to my dad. Now, my dad and I are producing quality American products from the cotton we grow right here on this farm. Through our relationship with Alabama Farm Credit, we are bringing jobs to Alabama and creating a legacy for future generations to come. Farm Bureau Bank has built its entire existence around the lifestyle and needs of farmers and ranchers across America. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. From sunup to sundown, we are committed to serving you. Wear long pants long sleeve shirts, and closed toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. 